Hi guys, welcome to our second video of our Power Map kind of series that we have here. Today we're going to talk about the roles uh, of the people involved in power and influence and there's six of them. So we're just going to cover them really quick, starting with task number one. Awesome. So today we are going to chat a little bit about users. These are the people in the organization who are most likely to use the product that you are aiming to sell to them, product or service in this case. And those users are gonna be really important in the decision-making process and having a bit of influence with the final person who does actually get to make the decision. Who's next? We've got number two, which is your initiator. So the initiator is a person that they may be the first ones starting actually activating the partnership that you have. They're not necessarily the decision makers on, on budgets and stuff like that, but they do kick off the partnership for you. Number three. Awesome. Number three is the gatekeeper. This person is more important than you might think. They are the person that holds the keys to the kingdom. Essentially, they are the person that might be an EA, a PA, or um, someone maybe in middle management that has access to the CMO, the CFO, the CEO, the key decision maker in the business that you're looking to partner with. Awesome. Number four, we've got the buyer. So as you can see, we're now up to four, and this person is the one that signs off on the budget. So whatever the magic number you came out, everyone's happy to work with you. This person, you need their signature. So they actually approve the budget. Awesome. And next we have the influencer. This person is a real key in the organization and often may not be the person that you think. They may not be a person that holds a lot of authority, but their influence and powers of persuasion, previous networking opportunities and abilities influence others in how the decision should be made and what products or services they might use. And finally. Finally, the designer. So as the name suggests, the designer is if you're working in a big organization, enterprise companies, they tend to have a lot of stakeholders involved. So even though you may have a budget approved, you have usually a, layer, a one layer above that actually says, I'm happy with what all you guys are doing. Let's go with it. And then that tick, that approval, it's key to success on any partnership. This is really important because as you can see, it's quite a complex matrix and they all play a very important part of a successful account-based experience experience and you know by knowing who you're talking to who you're dealing with then you're going to be able to produce the content they want to hear from you don't take shortcuts know who's who in the zoo and good luck